Hey you guys, welcome back to Firewatch Part 2. So last time we were off to a very slow and a very depressing beginning. Hopefully things pick up right here and uh, we get some more action, or at least something. Something's going on, but uh, let's go ahead and continue. It's game time. Day two. Wake up. Sipping on the morning Joe. All right, and I did get a little vandalized last hey, night. Wake up. Oh yeah, I stole this whiskey. Let's pick it up. Oh, first things first. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <laughs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Well, this sounds like a scene from a horror movie. We're cut off from society, y'all. I don't really know why that would be the case. And someone's screwing me. I mean, we've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. Hmm. It wasn't an accident. Anyway, I'm sending all the lookouts out to check the wire in their areas. Can I go fix it? Well... You probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Right. Yeah, of course. So, you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Yeah, sure. Oh, my name is a Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. What? Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Okay, yes. She's definitely not going to be a rapper. Anyways, let's check out some whiskey here. Yum. Save for later, always. <laughs> the mug. Examine. What's it say on the front? Forest Service, Department of Agriculture. Oh. Alright, you put it down now. Huh? Okay. Uh, I confiscated those fireworks, right? Bleach. I don't know why I would need that. Oh, yeah, the cleaning, of course, but. I could put it in the killer's eyes, man. That'll teach him a lesson. A killer? Wait, hold on. That's no killer yet. <laughs> That's what I'm anticipating to happen next. But I don't think this is going to be a... This may not be a murder mystery. Alright, guys. Let's let's hit the road. See what I can find downstairs. And she gave me a little mission. I'm supposed to uh, go through the caves again and do something or the other. I forgot already what I'm supposed to do. But... Server communication line north of Canyon. I'm here. The Canyon is north. So we just go on this trail here and we. Let me see. Bro. As you guys can tell, I am really crappy with directions, man. Thank God they have GPS in this day and age, man. About to look at like a real, a real map. Trying to drive and get somewhere, I'd be screwed. Look, I'm going the wrong way already. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. I can't get lost now. Right? This is the right way, right? Like, it doesn't have a directional arrow. It's so strange. Yeah, this this is it. Let's go. Put the dead map down. Alright, it's a nice summer day, taking a hike. Nothing but the wind to keep me in company right now. Oh, oh, oh what's that? What's that? Back it up. Cold morning fog. Report fog. Report fog. Yeah. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. 
Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Um. Yeah, let's talk about my wife. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well. But you're taking a little break. Or. We're. Hmm. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Damn it! I went the wrong way. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why have you? Ah, get this damn map okay, on my face. Good. Call out. Listen. What? No, I don't think he has any idea. This is listen. Oh, what's going on here? I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex. Sorry, I I don't mean to pry. That would be my wife, Julia. Oh, yeah. Like, like your wife, or like <laughs> she's taken half my stuff, wife. Is there another my kind wife. of wife? <laughs> but you're here. Uh, I gotta answer this. Hold on. Just... She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. Ooh, I'm... that sounds horrible. I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Alright, they won't let me take the TP. That's bull. You know, I need that two-ply in my life. I can't get by without that. <laughs> I don't care what people say. No one wants to wipe their ass with leaves <laughs> and pine cones. Oh, man, I am so lost. Crap. I'm gonna have to do a I'm gonna have to do an edit now. <laughs> Damn it, this game needs a directional arrow on the map. Does illness have anything to do with you taking this job or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Oh, yeah. That's right, I remember. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in forest service budget and can actually afford to have you. Hmm. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean... The federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Oh. Ring a bell? You know, I'm not familiar with my history, so... Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then, about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. Whoa. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? I and mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey! I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. <laughs> Goddamn park can burn down again. 30 cents an hour raise. I know that one. Uh, my raises be bullshit too in my job. Anyways, map. Alright, you're going the right way. Just uh, map this dang last path and get to it. I'm going to spend more time lost than actually playing. Let's jump down here. It should be damn. Come on, you coward. You could have made it. Wasn't that far. Alright, so the cave is somewhere. Obviously. Somewhere. Down here and stuff. Yeah, I'll just keep going. I I'll run into it. I can't miss it now. Yep, right in front of me. 
drop. Alright guys, I apologize. I have nothing but the sound of my voice to keep you company at this point. Because this game doesn't feature a soundtrack. Alright, those are the phone lines. Um, back it up. I saw a queue. What happened to the queue? It's right there. Okay. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay. Follow the wire. Simple enough. I wish I could just like zip line down that thing. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just <laughs> seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Where exactly is she at? I'm, I'm kind of confused where she is too. Like, is she really close to me? Will I ever meet her face to face? Or is she, will she ever forever be the voice on the walkie talkie? All right, so my, uh, my character isn't a climber. He can't climb, he can't shimmy down. <laughs> at least when I was busting his ass, we saw what happened last time. Uh... Oh, we following the, the lines, okay, so. This way. Beer cans. Someone's been here. Let's clean this up. Yeah, keep this forest clean, y'all. So far, I haven't seen any wildlife yet. That's kind of crazy. Like a, a nice fight with a bear would definitely pump my adrenaline up. She did say there were bears over here. Maybe some coyotes or something. We are in Wyoming. So this should be coyotes, right? I'm not too sure about that. But, you know, I don't have any weapons either, so. <laughs> I wonder if you can die in this game. Can you actually get a game over screen? Alright, I made it. And now we're about to find out this water has been sabotaged. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it yep. doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. It's snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer cans out here. The same beer those girls were drinking. Uh, they also left us a, a message. Oh, go to hell. Oh, these idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? Yeah, I know, right? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. But that's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. Oh, yeah. What do you got? And a murder spree. I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. What uh, the fuck? Damn it. Group messaging, man. To wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I'm gonna need a raise. <laughs> yep. Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that oh would Oh my you god. Now well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Oh my goodness, I do not want to play hide and seek with these kids. Bro, just tell me where to go on the map. Alright, let me see this. Yeah, let me just end it all. Let you keep myself. That's why I came out here, right? To get away from everything. No, I'm just joking. Please. If you do need help, do not kill yourself. 
Oh, I uh, didn't mention that they made the hillside up here their own personal dumpster. Uh, I am serious, Henry. I want these girls to never, ever want to go backpacking ever again. I hear you. All right. I got to do something about this. This is fucking ridiculous. Number one, leave this conversation. Yes, yes. Number two, we'll cut off all future notifications. At least for now. Huh, no notifications, bro. You're going. Let me pull my map again, bro. I have the most, like, my, me and my map have, like, the best relationship. If only it could talk, bro. The stories it would tell. Again, find the teens. Really? That's the most general <laughs> thing you can say. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> okay. All right, guys. We're so moving them right along. Like I can like, I think I could use like a moped right now or something. You know, a little a little fast travel, some warping. Give me where I need to go. All right. Now we are going to two forks. Uh oh, a backpack. What's this? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, hmm. it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Yeah, it has that rope I need. Just in case I need to go down any more ledges. Oh. Instant camera. Um. Well, I am flush with ropes now. <laughs> that pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. <laughs> what, was he a fella you had a thing with? <laughs> mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Oh. Ugh. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, <laughs> so it goes. I'm a sarcastic bastard. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Please. Let me hear your sweet voice a little longer. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Worst password ever. All right, what we got here? Fossilized claw. Don't understand why this crap it's in the cash box. Fossilized claw. That's a claw too? Really? To what? Oh, a loose stone, okay. You know what, guys? I forgot to copy the map information from my last cash box. That's a fail. What's it say? All right, Dave. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit hill, Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for Lowe's. So I figured I'd stay away. 
Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the finest service only picks the deranged and perverted. Oh, okay. Oh, the forest service. I, I, yeah, whatever. We'll take that. That could be evidence. I don't know. This is a mystery game, right? Close that up. All right. We're going to two forks. Yay. Uh, or we're going to the lake. No, we're going to the lake. Yeah, that's why it's like orange. Orange, yes. Okay. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Was she? she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. Oh, I thought was her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Uh-oh. What's that? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. What about this fence? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? <laughs> uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Oh, uh, what? She don't know about this? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Alright, starting to get very mysterious now. The girls are not behind the fence. What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Uh, okay. Thousands even, full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Wow. Where are all the hedgehogs? She needs to stop. Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's right. Now. <laughs> Would do that and why? <laughs> that is the real Damn, mystery. look at this forest. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high quality information. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. Is this the forest she was talking about? Looks like all burnt down and stuff. Alright, I need to get up there. I have no clue how to get up there. Let's look at the map. Fence. Okay, I see. I see. I think I see. I'm, I'm on the trail. So we turn around this way. And then we go a little bit more this way. Oh, this map makes no sense. Okay, let's let's try. Go. It has to be this way. It's no option. Uh, supply drop. No, I need to go there. Wait, is that it? Theodore Lookout. It was coming from this area. Ah, crap. Let's go. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. 
I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. <laughs> Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Can we go now? Ah, uh, here, okay. I can climb down from right here, though. Right? Right. Fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flap? What are you talking Excuse about? Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Flapjack? Oh, yeah, that's offensive. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. Nope. On second thought, maybe conversation with her isn't the best idea. <laughs> Can I like shimmy down? Oh, maybe I got some behind me. Hold on. Yep, there we go. We got all the little rope spots. This is a uh, this is some good exercise though right here. How late is it? And is it still morning or is it like getting like pretty late now? All right, I think I need to get up this left side of this mountain. So the first chance I see, I'm gonna take it. Yep, yeah, no, uh... Oh! Music! Where did that come from? Thank you. It's so depressing though. <laughs> this music isn't warranted yet. Cross. All right, we're heading up. Good, good, good. I think so. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Thought we were heading up. Oh. The break. Right. No. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps uh. up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. Ah, sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. Or anything. Or call me whenever you want. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh... I think they always thought she could do better, and I get it back over here. that I could have done a better job looking after her. Here's the trip. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. Yeah. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. <laughs> I'll think about it. Good advice. Good advice right there. Okay, so... Columns over there. I'm still way the fuck over here. What direction is that? Is that north, south? Let me put my compass real quick. That is, I, I haven't used my compass correctly. That is south. So. South would be campfire smoke, yes. So I am going the right way. 
I wish I could just like swim in the lake, just, just swim right in the lake and right into it. But I gotta find my own way though. So let's start finding. Like after I'm done opening these things and lock it back up, I should probably intentionally scramble the codes again. So no one else could just come in here anytime they want to. Hmm. What's this? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or wow. stuck in a ravine. That he throw. was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. Mm. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. <laughs> he actually liked to stay in the tower. Right, let's report the, the lush forest. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Hmm. All right, let's check. Found the stream. Almost there, guys. Almost there. It, it's done taking me a whole day. I think it's about to be nighttime soon now. That's how long I've been walking. The sunset through the trees. It's perfect Kodak moment, bro. And look at the shadow. Awesome. How'd I pull up my camera? Yeah. Catch the moment. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Say that one for the good old memory banks. All right. Anyways, what's this? Waterfall. Wow. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Hmm, what's this? Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Hmm. Interesting. We found it. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. Oh, what a job this is. Ninja style, huh? All right. First things first, let's put out the fire. A town stomp this fire, bruh. I have entered the teen zone. Hunks? Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Oh, what is this? My sheets. I ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. All right, what's in the mysterious man? 
the rotten kids teens camping clothes off like these motherfuckers I hate to see that room I hate to see that room they don't know how to pick up oh it's a note oh <laughs> they left me a note how quaint the tent looks like it's been through the shredder which would explain that scrap I found what could have done that like a like a bear or um I don't know it sounds crazy but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker whatever did it did not hold back you've got that camera right it might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah, 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 camera. Photo time. Look at this trash. Oops, wrong button. I guess I'll take one of the campfire too. Well, it's not really take a picture of, get rid of it. Some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. We should just have like a steady conversation. Shouldn't have to keep reporting back in and in and in and in. Where's the, what's that? Tent, sleeping bag, sleeping bag. All right, I'm just. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Really? Let's take it. They won't let me. I guess he was just joking. Okay. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. M okay. Maybe. Yeah. Let me know what it says. It seems like it's just a big misunderstanding. They think I'm some type of stalker or something. All right. Huh. What is this nonsense? Ah, uh, dear psycho. I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find a police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then it came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff oh and stealing panties is gross out you're probably a mental fucking axe murder and so going to jail <laughs> i hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick why the fuck would you put a heart afterwards i don't understand that though all right Looks like she uh, grammatically corrected herself. Looks like a, a graded paper from a teacher. Uh, let's talk about this. Oh, well, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my God! Well, did you? Did you attack or do anything that could be perceived as an attack to these campers? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is... I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. Hmm. It's it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Ain't gonna happen, little lady. I depend on action. All right, so that's day two wrapped up, guys, and now we're getting to day three. All right, so I'm going to end the gameplay right there. A lot of walking, a lot of talking, but still no reveal on really what the hell I am doing here and, <laughs> and what the hell's going on, okay? But we do have a mystery man out there who's pretending to be me, impersonating my good name. We can't have that. All right, guys, so let me know if you're enjoying this gameplay. You've heard my thoughts throughout this playthrough. I want to hear yours now in the comments below. Feel free to share, and I'll catch you on the next one. And if you did enjoy this little thing, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Catch y'all later. Peace out.